The Balkan Regional Conference 2018 took place in Tirana, Albania on the weekend of the 2nd through the 4th of November. The venue was the Testella Resort where all the accommodations, meetings and corporate meals were held, giving the Saints an excellent atmosphere for blending and fellowship. There were 163 saints from 15 countries represented. Out of this number, 83 were from 6 Balkan countries. The saints began arriving during the week prior to the conference and thoroughly enjoyed entering into the small but vital church life in Tirana by joining them in appointments, home meetings and preparations for the conference. On Friday evening, the saints who had arrived participated in a meeting that was full of singing prayer and mutual refreshment. The conference itself began on Saturday morning. The general subject was man in God's eternal plan and consisted of four messages which one of the speaking brothers described as a solid foundation for the Balkans to build upon. Two messages were presented on Saturday morning, followed by lunch and a break for fellowship and small group readings of ministry excerpts contained in the outline packet. The day culminated in the evening with a meeting and dinner that provided an opportunity for each of the Balkan countries to present whatever the Lord gave them to share regarding the situation in their respective countries. Currently, there are about four families meeting regularly on the Lord's Day in the capital city of Tirana. There are also home meetings on Friday where the Lord has brought local university students and seekers for fellowship and enjoyment of the word. Together, the saints are endeavoring to see and experience life through the word with the help of the ministry. The Lord is having a new beginning in Bulgaria and in particular in the capital, Sofia. There are two couples who have recently moved to Sofia to serve full time. We have the seven Rima books translated into Bulgarian. Currently, there are two or three groups meeting during the week in different parts of Sofia. In addition, there are some saints meeting in Petrik, a city in the south of Bulgaria near to the border of Greece. There are several cities in Croatia where the saints are gathering. In Zagreb, the capital of Croatia, there is a very sweet, small house-to-house -house church life. The second biggest city in Croatia is Split, where approximately 20 to 30 saints are meeting regularly in the way of the church life. From 2017, the saints in Split meet together at the Lord's Table. In Hvar, a little town on an island of the same name, there is a group of seven saints meeting two times a week to pray and enjoy the Lord together. Another city is Ozijek, where there is a group of saints meeting during the week to read the ministry in Croatian. The saints in Croatia participate in the conferences and trainings in Europe to experience the genuine oneness of the one body of Christ. There are saints 
meeting in the two largest cities in Greece, Athens and Thessaloniki. Over the last year, the Lord has blessed a new online advertisement for the free ministry books distributed by RIMA, resulting in an increase in the number of orders for both the initial and subsequent sets. This increased sowing of the ministry has revealed a number of hungry seekers who have an appetite for the truth. The saints are continuing to contact those who have ordered all three sets and have had appointments to meet with them face to face for fellowship. Several readers of the ministry in general are now meeting with the saints in both cities and we are looking to the Lord that He would add many more. The brothers and sisters in Novi Sad meet three times a week to enjoy the Lord and to read the ministry. These saints are blending especially with the saints from Croatia, Hungary and Slovakia. They also travel abroad to attend the conferences and trainings and to blend with the body. The brothers in Novi Sad are praying and seeking the fellowship with the body concerning the matter of taking the ground in their locality to begin to break the bread as the local testimony of the one body. The saints in Istanbul started the Lord's Table meeting in February 2010. Right now there are around 16 saints, including two local Turkish saints, gathering together and enjoying the messages from the seven feasts every Lord's Day morning. There are several saints scattered throughout the rest of the country, in Izmir, in Ankara and in Antalya. The distribution of the Rima books in Turkish started in November of 2014. Since then, 15,000 copies of the booklets have been distributed through a local distributor and nearly 1,000 orders for physical books have been obtained through internet advertising. Praise Him, praise Him, Christ is victor, He has won the victory. Stay the conference resumed on Lord's Day morning with the remaining messages and the Lord's Table meeting. Vanquish all the evil powers through the cross triumphantly. Praise Him, Christ is resurrected, God has raised Him from the dead. For some, it was their first time of breaking the bread with the saints, and it was a glorious display of our rich enjoyment of the Lord and worship of the Father, especially as we sang hymn number 124 in the many languages present, culminating in a very released praise to the Father in hymn number 7.
among us, we should have the blending of all the individual members of the body of Christ, the blending of all the churches in certain districts, the blending of all the co-workers and the blending of all the elders. Blending means that we should always stop to fellowship with others. Then we will receive many benefits. If we isolate and seclude ourselves, we will lose much spiritual profit. Learn to fellowship. Learn to be blended. This is the most helpful thing in the keeping of the oneness of the universal body of Christ. Today it is very convenient for us to blend with one another because of this modern age with its modern conveniences. When we blend together, we have the cross and the spirit. Without the cross and the spirit, all that we have is the flesh with division. In ourselves, it is not easy to be crucified and to do all things by the Spirit. This is why we must learn to be blended. Blending requires us to be crossed out. Blending requires us to be by the Spirit, to dispense Christ and to do everything for the sake of His body. some items for prayer, that the Lord would continue to build upon the solid foundation that was laid at the conference through His speaking for His move in the Balkans, particularly that a precious lampstand would be raised up in Tirana, Albania as a result of the rich infusion of life from this time, that the employee of the resort who worked closely with the brothers coordinating for the conference and receive the Lord would be added in a normal and genuine way to the church life. That the saints in the Balkans would continue to take the way of doing everything through the cross, by the Spirit and ministering life for the building up of the body of Christ.